look at this cool thing. Been neglected so much on, but guess what? Guess what? Some goodies arrived in the mail. Let's go for a quick walk. Let's go for a quick walk, because what do we got? What do we got? We have some goodies. We'll ignore that one. This one from Canada. Doopy doopy doo. It's the cruise control. Thanks to On the Back Wheel for recommending this and decent discount. And the other one is the Rapid Evo. We're gonna fit all this up today. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Right. Let's go. Pretty basic toolkit needed to do this. This is for the uh, Rapid Evo. I've had a little look. Pretty basic from what I can see. You've got some that go to optional stuff, which is this here at the start, which you don't really need to worry about if you're not playing around with all that stuff. Then you have uh, this one's is that the O2 sensor? I think that's the sensor for the O2 sensor and exhaust. A TPS. One lot goes into one injector. The other lot goes into the other injector. Um, and that's sort of largely it. Oh, crank angle sensor, that one. Um, so we've obviously got to get into the guts of it all. Then there's the Viridian Cruise, which... I'm going to be figuring this stuff out as I go. Too many wires. Um, reasonably rudimentary from the look of it, but we will know more when we get in there. And I don't like these, but we'll see. Okay, just had a quick look at the Viridian Cruise Control, and I've removed the tank. I'm not going to post up how you do that, because there's plenty of videos on that. Just giving everything a bit of a clean with the airline. And it seems I have to remove this side of the fairing only. So I'll get on with that. I haven't had a look yet just at uh, the fittings for the rapid bike. And I'll have a quick look now. But yes, this side of the fairing, the right side, has to come off for the cruise control. Okay, this is for the rapid bike. We've got the two injector plugs. They're tucked in under here. Right is blue, black is left. The, the, the tang is underneath to release them, quite tricky. And then you just gotta piggyback uh, your injector plugs, which I'll do in a moment. I just wanna suss out some more stuff. Piggyback the um, injectors. As I said, blue's on the right, black on the left. Um, and now, the loom naturally wants to run down this side of the bike and we have the O2 sensor here which I am figuring will run down through here because your, your O2 sensor is obviously down in there. So let's see how we go routing that. Okay, this one was a tricky one. It took me a bit to get that bugger out, but anyway. So it's down in there. This is your uh, cruise control plugs into one of them and the other one plugs back into down in there. So have fun putting that one back in. Okay, now I've never used a posi tap, can't believe. I've never actually heard of it, but anyway, did a quick search. And uh, there's plenty on the old YouTube interweb on how to do this. I'm doing this for the very first time, so bear with me here. Use the band-aids, a rough week at work. All right. Well, they were slightly wrong there, weren't they? Um, bear with me a sec. If you don't have a set of these cutters, from Sterling, get yourself a set. I use them for everything. Flipping awesome. All right, we'll try this again. Let's 
So never use these for my life. Okay, so that's in there. Now, what I have to do is locate the wire in here and slip this piece and then screw that on. So bear with me while I try and figure out which wire it is. Okay. So the, it's the blue wire with the black stripe, which is the towards the back of the bike. So you just slip that in there like that. Pop this over. And then you supposedly just spin, baby, spin. Make sure you do the right wire. It's really hard to tell in that light. But uh, yeah, that's the one towards the back of the bike. All right, so that's in. What's next? Uh, let's see. Forgot to mention, this is for the 1819 model, okay? So for the 15, 17, it says here, you have to go to a different spot. So be wary of that. There's two different locations depending on what year model your bike is. I've got the 18 model, so I'll go into here. But be wary of that. Okay, now the only two wire red connector I could find was this one. And I need my little pokey thing. Um, I removed the pillion seat because I've got to mount my um, the ECU up in here, I think. Uh, God, some you got to push down, some you got to pull up. Okay, so where's the harness gone? Here. It's all sort of a natural progression. It seems pretty uh, rudimentary. I'm just not 100% sure about routing this. So I'm maybe having doubts as to it being there. The difference is I've got this OBD reader, so I might have to do some rejigging. But it's looking like the one to me. So you're in here, and you're get in there. You're in here. Clip, clip. Yes. So I was hoping to put this up in here, but I'm not sure. I'll have to have a little fidgy around. So far, this is really simple. Keep going. Okay, that's one eyelet that you have to connect to your earth, main earth. Run through here. Let's let the spaghetti escape. Also, with that um, PPS sensor at the back that I just um, wired in, the one I'm doing is for the non US models, obviously, here in Australia. But there's a different reference uh, for US models, so you have to look into that. Now, the connectors up here for all the optional extra stuff, which I don't have, something for later, you get given the, the connectors, wire into them. They also have the blanking for them to uh, keep them dust and water tight. So I'm plonking all these in to keep them dry and dust free and one more where are you uh, that one that oh, this one um, ah, what was that? um yeah, that's a bit of an odd oh there we go click there you go okay so now i'm going to figure out where i'm going to locate all of this because for the most part this is all pretty much wired in okay from what I can tell, saying to mount it in here, um, I'll see how I go with it, but I'm not sure I'm happy with how it is. It's There's room allowed for the seat and the wiring to sit here like this. 
So I'm going to cable tie everything up, get it neat. Um, but from what I can tell, for the most part, that's pretty much it. It's actually really easy to wire this thing on an Africa twin. Um, I did not have to take off the fairings. All I had to do was remove the tank and the seats. So <laughs> that's a big plus because um, the fairings are a whole nother ball game. Um, Unfortunately, I'm fitting a cruise control, so I do have to remove the fairings at least on one side. So let's see how we go putting this seat back in place, and we'll try and wire up the, oh, sorry, neaten up the wiring, and then we'll um, uh, move to the front. Okay, the connector for the Iridian cruise control, these two, is in here on the right side of the bike. You plug one into one of them and then that piggybacks into the other one and it's a matter of tidying it all up I think they say no they don't I've got to figure out where they want to mount this and where this one goes but that's where the first two black connectors go so let's figure out the rest okay I have one little setback. Um, in here, one of the shorter plug leads with a white plug goes up through here, and you plug this into it and you route it to whatever side you want to route it to. Uh, it's, there's still problems with that as well, but my big problem is, which I've got to work out whether I can make a splitter is I have an OBD reader and I have it running to my dash, which gives me all the info I need on my tablet, including speed, uh, coolant temps, all that sort of stuff. And I don't want to give that up. So I've got to work out whether I can run a splitter off this one because this, this one here goes to here. So, have to figure something out I will um, I'll see what I can come up with I mean I can try and test it but um, yeah a little bit of a bugger there but um, everything else is reasonably uh, self-explanatory the only thing I've got to still do is I've got to tap this um, purple wire wherever it is there's a purple wire here which I've got to tap into the brake line so that's a dis deactivate so when I put my um, hand on the brake um, just got to sort that out but anyway let's keep going that was an absolute pain in the ass this purple wire getting it into that green and yellow wire is absolutely painful um, it's tested it is working you turn it on I don't know if you can see that wire let's see if we can get that and then you push the brake lever and you see it flashing, means that the brake, it is working. So now I've got to figure out where it all um, sits naturally. Anyway, next step. Okay, I've ended up opting for the left side because I just couldn't get it to fit on the right side. We've got it there, it's not ideal. Um, and I might change it later, but what I think they could have done was instead of having the, the bar grip type set up, was give you an option to uh, to mount off um, mount off these and have it just here, up just above. So you ride along and you can go bit bit food for food for thought. And the other thing is those connectors that they're using. Um, I don't like them. I've always hated them. Those new posi links that are new, new to me. I've never used one before. Freaking magic. Um, switch to posi links, please. Okay, it's two days later. I've lost some of the footage, so I've had to reshoot this one. Went for a ride yesterday after the install. The Rapid Evo install was beautiful. Everything is clear cut, perfect. Could have got my kids to do it. Um, all you have to do is remove the tank and the seats to do everything. Uh, the instructions are pretty concise and clear. Uh, 
There's no information though in the stuff they send you about the actual bedding in or running in of the um, ECU. I got some information secondhand off a guy who um, on Facebook, I know Facebook, but this guy was pretty concise about his write up of the um, product and how he bedded it in on an Africa twin. Uh, he said 90 miles, which is about 144K, so I just rounded it up to 150Ks. I went for a ride up to King Lake and around the area and over to Tullarook, through the forest, up and down, did some tracks while I was there. And then a mixture of um, beautiful B roads onto highway for a short stint um, and back onto B roads and then through city riding. It was quite busy coming through Epping and that. So I gave it a full mixture of riding and that's what they say to do. You've got to give it a bit of everything. I, I After I left Tullarook, I got onto the main road there and I really opened it up and like gave it, gave it to it for a few gears. Um, such a difference, such a difference. So much more talky, really a different, different animal. The airbox popping has gone away. Low speed riding is much better. Um, and as I said, a lot more torque and it feels like it's got a lot more power. The Viridian cruise control, couple of issues I have with it. One is, could be a little bit clearer with, I know there's only a few wires, but just a little bit clearer with some of the instruction. Um, and then their controller, which I've pointed out. need I've got to change that because on the ride, I did find it quite hard. I've got to see if somehow I can make, I only need, oh, 10 mil is a lot to ask, but um, maybe five mil and hopefully I'll be able to fit it in there. That was a bit of um, faffing about sometimes. And I'm not as 100% sure because I've got some learning and reading to do about the cruise control, but I had it, there's this weird cutout period when you go to turn it off. And there were a couple of times I didn't know if I turned it on and I thought I'd push the button long enough or, yeah. So I was a bit, a little bit, you know, but that's on me. That's not on the product. I've still got a bit to learn. Um, overall, though, very happy with both products, really happy. Um, the the Rapid Evo is just a game changer as far as this bike is concerned. And, and considering it is so easy to install and so easy to do, I don't know why more people don't do it. Um, two thumbs up. Little, little niggly things with the cruise control, but at its price point, I paid in Australia, I think, with On The Wheel. Got to give a shout out to On The Wheel. His discount works out to be like seventy dollar discount. So I think I paid four thirty for the cruise control from Canada. The Evo was through a Queensland rapid bike in Queensland, five hundred and fourteen dollars. I ordered it on Monday. It was sent from Italy, and I had it on Friday. Like unbelievably good. You could fit it that night in an hour. The next morning, go for a ride and run it all in, um, absolutely beautiful. The only thing I've still got to do is do a potentially a mileage comparison where I'm just riding more conservatively. Um, the other people have said they got better mileage, but yet to be seen. But overall, really, really happy. Um, I, I can't speak highly enough of the rapid bike. Hopefully you can get something out of this. Um, it's definitely hard to find some info on doing those things on this bike. There wasn't much out there, so that's why I thought I'd just put a video together for these. A lot of stuff for the Trans Alp out there, but uh, not much on the CRF 1000. So I couldn't find much on the Viridian. In fact, I couldn't find anything on the Viridian. And I thought, well, I'll figure this out and I'll do a video myself. The other thing too is I wish the Viridian had posi terminals and not those squash down ones i don't like them that's the only other critique i've got for the Ridian. um yeah if you like it give us a thumbs up um yeah i'll try and i've got a few more things coming i've got an auxiliary fuel tank to go here this is all in preparation for my trip around australia next year and uh, a couple of other mods i want to do um but i've got to also get some work done on the four-wheel drive so there's stuff to go on that as well anyway thank you very much um yeah stay safe out there